air engine research. For those of you who are viewing this for the first time, uh, my channel is dedicated to research on compressed air and using that to drive a motor that would be useful for either in a vehicle or in the case now that I'm working on, it's a uh, assist for a bicycle. But before I get to this project today, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. I need to have 1,000 or more subscribers in order to be able to live uh, YouTube and some other things that I would like to do. But currently I'm only at 305, so I have quite a ways to go in order to meet that requirement that YouTube has put on us. For you new subscribers, you will be notified whenever I have any new information. So let's go ahead and let you see the pictures that I've made of the parts and I've got a couple little videos there showing you how it was uh, progressing and looks like it worked out okay. This is kind of the original design. It's in a plywood housing with a wheel in the center. It'll be two cylinders, one on this side, one on that side. This will ride on the bicycle wheel and turn it. It'll have a side on both sides and when it's on it'll be laying down like this and this will be underneath the wheel the valves will be one on here and one on there which i don't have it designed yet totally but this is the valve it will ride somewhere over here in as it goes in pushing. Be one on both sides. So oh, that's kind of how I'm at this point. This will be the cylinder that will be replaced in here. Well, today I just finished my uh, cylinder and my push rod and attached everything and I put a little groove in the wheel for centering on the tire on the bicycle and it should, should be doing pretty good. I think so and it'll be running in this direction because the bicycle tire goes this way and when this goes this way that makes the wheel turn this way on the bicycle like so the opposite direction of this turn this way I should say <laughs> but looks like it's pretty good now I have to uh, make the valve assembly that's going to set on the plate here and there will be a valve on each side so that as the thing goes back and forth it pushes the, the valve. So got that the valve over here be about down here I think. There will be a, a T put on here 
with the hose going to the valve from both sides, depending on whether it's an intake, it'll have two hoses on it, and this valve will have one. So this will go to one, this will go to the other. So that's where I'm at right at the moment. I have the the metal parts that I'm going to use for the mount and for the mounting the valves to the to the support plate too. That'll be out of uh, one inch, eighth inch thick metal on the bottom, and then the two plates will be on two inches, so I can have a bolt on both sides of the valve. So well, that should be about where it's at. I don't know if I'll eventually need to put a spacer in here to get that out a little further or not. We'll have to wait and see on that. But I've got room to, to move this out another three quarters of an inch almost if I need to. I'm having a problem with the timing. For some reason, it will run okay with one cylinder, but when I run both of them, it has a resistance. It just, something is not right. But I haven't so far figured out what's wrong. doesn't want to continue. It's not, not going right. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it figured out eventually. Well, after many hours of uh, trying to figure out why that thing was not working, this cylinder was always lob lobing. And this one was working fine by itself fine this one by itself wouldn't work and i could make it work with both of them but just not, not well so i finally took it all apart started all back over with all this and discovered that there was a, a leather washer inside the cylinder that got up into the intake hole on the cylinder and when the piston would come to the top, it would block the hole. So that was why it wouldn't work. Now it works pretty well. run wide open. That'd be way too fast. Because it only takes three, three and a half turns of this wheel for the bicycle one time. And that's too fast. Not for me. But anyway, now it does work and I can go ahead and do some more stuff, make the framework and stuff better and uh, change maybe some of the things how they're they're hooked up up here to get them a little better i might even raise them up a little higher to get them up closer to the top so that there's not as much movement on the on the uh, cylinder to the valve and it would also be less less resistance from the plunger on the on the valve the higher up it goes so long as it still gives enough travel to open and close which i think it will but anyway i'm happy with it now uh, it won't start by itself unless it happens to be in a certain position but it looks like it always wants to go to where one of them is facing down so in that case 
Well, when it's laying down, though, then it would be doing this, which would put it in the position to start. But on the bicycle, you just pedal it. That'll roll a wheel. And then, then it'll start. As long as it's started once, then it'll keep going. I've still got some air leak, and I'm going to have to figure out where that's at and fix that. out of balance I'm not sure why maybe that's just the nature of a two-cylinder don't know but for day I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a day so that's gonna be the video for today I'll be working on the valves in the near future and I'll keep you posted but once again, thank you for checking in, and I hope that those of you who look at the videos will subscribe and help me get up to that 1,000 or over mark. So until next time, goodbye.